Hey everybody, this is uh, just a quick tutorial on doing wand holsters. So like, here's an example of my, my daughter's wand. So she's asking for something that she can put this in that's going to keep it pretty snug, uh, but it also can hang from a uh, wizard's belt or, you know, some type of uh, belt that has D-rings or something similar. So I uh, created a couple of different versions. Uh, this is one that... Um, just sews up fairly simple. Uh, what I wanted to show you, and I just have some rivets here holding in place, but uh, I'm including in the pattern a couple of different versions, a couple of different ways to, to use it. This is going to be, um, you put, a, put the uh, rivets through here and then it's going to hang, it's gonna hang from a belt, okay? So it'll rivet in there and then just, this is, the belt will go through here. The other option is this right here, where if I attach it with these rivets and put a D-ring right here, then you can use some type of uh, clasp to go from here to the belt, if the belt already has a D-ring. But so uh, I just wanted to show a couple of different options that are available, uh, D-ring or belt loop. Okay. And I'll, I'll get these, uh, you know, in place after I sew this up. Um, and then the other one is a uh, play on the leaf design that I've been making some bags and corsets and belts and pouches and all that kind of stuff with. Um, so here it is. It also, uh, on the, uh, on the pattern, it has a dotted line and it says where to fold it. So the, right down the middle, basically, is what you're going to do is just fold it in half. like this and the extra holes punching punching holes that I've put in here aside from the ones on the outside okay those that's what's gonna you hold that together uh, the ones in the middle is just for decoration I like sewing this with a lighter color green just to show like the the veins in the leaf uh, so that's that's why those are there uh, they're not on the original template, the PDF, uh, but they're really easy. The lines are here uh, as guides if you wanna use uh, two hole punch uh, because there's some curves. Uh, and just just punch uh, the design that you want uh, as, you know, as elaborate of veins that you wanna put in here, uh, do it. You might even want, you know, if you're only showing this side of the holder, then you know just do just do this side of the veins you know totally up to you uh but yeah you can also i'm doing it in green with uh kind of a woodsy brown as the where it's going to keep and i'm making this one with a belt loop so here's here's the holes and then once that's punched in there this will hang from a belt loop uh, and i'll show you once once we get to that point how that looks but yeah, so I'm going to work on this, get the veins put in, work on this. Uh, and when I get to a point, I'll show you how, how I kind of measure it and, and how you can adapt both of these uh, for widths of your wand. Because not, not all wands are going to be this size. Some of them are a little bit thicker near, near the, the handle. And a little bit thinner near the tip, so uh, we'll get to that point. All right, I'll be back real quick. Okay, so here's the first example um, of the wand with the holder. This is with the belt loop, and this belt loop that, as measured in, in the pattern, it will hold a you know inch and a half belt, inch and three quarters, really easily. Uh, if you need to, just you know extend this out a little bit, just you know mark the holes a bit farther and you know make it a little bit longer that's basically what i can tell you um but yeah so i sewed up the side so down this side i put a couple uh you know wrapped stitches just strengthen a little bit more what's nice about uh the leather that uh with these wands and as stiff because i mean it's it's not it's not going anywhere in there and with with the leather and these these wooden uh wands uh 
it's going to take that form. The longer it's in this leather, it's going to take that form and just kind of mold around it. And it's going to be just, it's going to fit your wand perfectly. Uh, what I was going to tell you was about, uh, you know, to customize it for your wand. Uh, what I did was on this paper, I, let me do this real quick. So I laid this out on here and then wrapped it up wrapped it around the the wand to make sure that one that it was going to be able to enter into this space wrapped up then also whether i needed uh an extra thread hole or less as it is for this wand um it's perfect the if this were skinnier i would say add an extra thread hole or two if your wand's too thick then just uh, don't punch as many as, as on the pattern. You might, you might want to bring it up a couple of, couple of holes and that what essentially that does when you're wrapping it, it expands the diameter that goes around, right? So for thicker wands, use less holes. You know, you're going to, you're going to, you know, take two off here, take two off there. Right? So for thicker wands, uh, reduce the number of stitch holes. Uh, you might even want to reduce here, but this is pretty a nice wide opening for the for the wand. So, uh, and for thinner wands, um, add add a couple holes on this side, add a couple of stitching holes on that side as well. Uh, and these are six millimeter width from uh, on center from hole to hole. Uh, that's how you measure is on, on on the center of the hole to the next center of the next hole. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let me, so I showed you here with the belt loop. Let me, uh, take this off. Cause they're just, I just held them there with some, some temporary rivets. Uh, I haven't hammered those in, but I wanted to show you how it looks with, uh, a D ring, uh, on there real quick. Okay. Hold on just a second. Okay. And here it is with the, with the D ring. So, uh, instead of. So this long piece right here, just use the shorter piece that's on the pattern, uh, wrap it around with some rivets. Like I said, this is just under there to place hold. But it gives you an idea of how that's going to look with the D-ring, and it would hang off a belt like so. So the one would be at an angle. And it's actually hangs pretty nice. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, let me get work on, I'm going to work on the the leaf here and the, the, the stitching of the veins and uh, show you how that one looks. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, and here's the leaf wand holster. So, like I told you, I, I sewed up the, the vein looking areas. There, here's the backside. And then I just stitched around starting here so I stitch around the edges to there and then put the rivets in for the belt loop so I didn't do a d-ring for this one uh, just because I wanted to show off the the leaf edges I think it thought it looked pretty cool and so you know, hang from the belt uh, it's gonna look pretty awesome nice angle too but uh so yeah if you're gonna adjust anything uh, do it before you punch the holes so I just, like I said with the last one, you just wrap this around where the fold line is, around your wand, and make sure that this last hole, not the veins, but the last hole right there, when, when wrapped around, the diameter is gonna fit. You know, that fit around the wand, so if it's like that, that's the opening you have, right? If that's gonna work, perfect, if not, um, you know, come back a couple holes to make that opening wider. And then the same thing for the, for the front. The front was, is actually plenty big. There's, there's the last hole right there. So there's plenty of room for a bigger wand on this one. Uh, but I like the look of the opening. So I, I did it on purpose. Just so I like the look of the opening, uh, made it a little bit easier to get the wand in and out if you need to. But, uh, but yeah, I think... I think it came out nice. Um, you could put a D-ring on this if you really wanted to. 
um, just, you know, end it, I don't know, about here, I guess, and put a little, little wrap around that and D-ring that up. Okay, cool. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, good luck and uh, send me some pictures of, of how yours have turned out. All right, bye.